In this video we're going to take a look at pivot tables again. This time we're going to take a look at pivot tables that are not arranged in list format where everything is in columns, but in a table format where things are in both rows and columns. Okay, so uh, remember this title is not part of the data. The data starts with the column headings, so make sure you're in the column headings when you start. And we go to our insert tab and click on pivot table and it should have selected the data for you and it, we're going to put it on a new worksheet click on OK and we have the area where the pivot table is going to go over here on the left and we have the tools over here for building the table on the right and let's do uh, start off like we did in the previous video and we'll do product and revenue so uh, product is in column A, revenue is in column B um, product is a row header, uh, revenue is a value that is uh, summed up in column B. And to make this look a little bit nicer, I'm just going to do a little dollar sign here and decrease the decimal places twice. So, okay. And oh, and you notice when I did that, this stuff goes away. Remember, you got to be clicked in the pivot table in order to see all of this information for pivot tables over here on the right. Now let's add, so far this is the same stuff we did in the previous video, uh, and now let's click on month. Uh, this is something we did in the previous video as well, but now we're going to make some changes. Down here in the bottom, uh, whenever you click on a text field up here, it automatically gets added on at the bottom of this rows box down here. So I clicked on product first, then I clicked on month, so that's the order that they appear down here. And they're text fields, so that's why they go down here. Uh, revenue is the only number field, so it goes in the values box down here. Now I'm going to make a change. I'm going to drag month, just get on month here, get your four-headed arrow, click and drag, drop it up here in the columns box, and now each month is going to be a column header instead of a row header. And so now I've got data in both rows and columns. That's what I call a table format. Um, notice that January is a little bit wider than the rest. That's because of this column labels business here. And I'm not sure why Excel does this but it uh, instead of putting column tables there column labels rather uh, we could put the word month and it doesn't do that we have to do it ourselves and then over here instead of putting row labels we could put product and again now it makes a lot more sense but this column was wide because it had to accommodate uh, the label that was there before I can make this a little bit narrower now and actually if I select all of these here and you know set the width of one of them uh, they all get set to that value. Now it's not enough because the pound signs are showing up at the bottom of my grand total column. Okay, so product and then month. Product is a row header. Month is a column header. Now I can drag product up here as well. And now they're both column headers. And this is really ugly because now everything is just one big row of data. And it's not at all easy to read. Um, so you're probably not going to want to put uh, both of these things up here. So let's drag month back down now instead. And this time it's the same data we had before, but month is in the rows and product is in the columns, column headers. So uh, same data, we just kind of flip-flopped it. And if it makes more sense for you to display your data this way, then this is the way you should display your data. Okay. Um, so we've got several options, uh, product and month, or month and product. Uh, we could do it in a list format like we have done in the past. Uh, we can also, let's toss region in here as well and get a little more finer detail in our data. And now what I'm going to do is, this is kind of a long list of data, and it might be easier to read if I drag region up here and display it like this. Okay. So now I'm going to have regions going across the top. I will have um, the month going down the side, and I'll have the product in here. Now, if I'd rather have the product first, just go over here and take month and click and drag it down below product. When you see the little green bar up here, you can let go. And now they're sorted by product. Uh, each product is broken down by month, and each month I see what I did in each one of my regions. One more option for this is we haven't looked at this filters box here at all. Um, now it is possible to do some filtering right here, 
if I click on month, uh, um, well, that's a wrong label. It's the label from last time. Um, so I re really should change that to region. But uh, I can select whatever regions I want to see here. So if I just want to see north and east, uh, I select north and east, and that's going to bother me. So we're going to put uh, region in there. And product is still over here, so we're good with that. Uh, so now it just shows me east and north. And the total is just for east and north. It's not the grand total for all four regions. It's just the total for whatever is displayed. Okay. Uh, let's go back here and let's do all of our regions. Do a select all. Click on OK. And um, now let's use our filter. Let's go up here and I'm going to drag product up into the filter box up here. And the filter box lets me decide which in this case which products I want to display and um, so I'm going to click on to select multiple items here and let's say I, I don't want to see turkey so I'm going to turn Turkish off and I'm going to click on OK and now I am getting these are the numbers for um, Brazilian and French coffee uh, my totals by region and my totals by month but because product is up here you know it's not going to be broken down here by French and Brazilian. So if you want to do that, um, you got to drag product down here. And then, um, let me see, let's put month down below. And so we got Brazilian and French still. Um, and you see the little filter, the, the funnel here indicating there's a filter turned on. And I want uh, to reselect Turkey so it's all visible. And so now if you don't want to see something, you know, you can um, actually you can collapse it and you don't see the details. But you still see the overall numbers. So if you prefer to see your data in a table format with rows and columns, all you have to do is drag things from rows down here. Everything goes in rows by default if it's not a number. And so if you want a table, you got to explicitly drag it from here up to here. Or you can just directly uh, let me see what I want here. Let's do uh, month. And let's drag month down here. And that's another way to do it. Just drag it directly down here or down here. So if I want it over here, uh, let's undo that. Let's, so let's turn month off. And we'll just drag month down here underneath region. And there it is. And that's probably a little too wide. So that's probably not a very good format to have. So let's drag month down here. But uh, you can put the data in the rows box, you can put it in the column box. Uh, it doesn't matter. Whatever you think makes your data easiest to read is what you should probably do.